Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about the subject DDSS. It is a sixth semester subject uh, of civil department. So let's move on. DDSS. Uh, in this, uh, you can see there are some topics. I have divided the subject uh, on the basis of question paper, and these topics are uh, like uh, questions. So let's move on the first topic, which is beams. In this, uh, this is the first question of the question paper, in which uh, the question is asked as design the beams. And in this topic, there are two types of numericals can be asked. Uh, one is plated section, and other is without plates. So here, without plates is uh, asked uh, most commonly, and the plated section is uh, very rarely asked. So the probability of asking plated section is very less. But uh, this both the types are very very same. The difference between them is only two to three steps. Uh, means uh, in plated section we have to design plates. That's it. And the rest of, rest of the sum numericals are same. So I suggest that uh, you uh, do uh, both of these top types. And so this first question gives us 32 marks. But uh, as we all know that uh, this subject is a drawing subject actually uh, in, in, uh, its name indicates that uh, design and drawing of steel structure. It means we are going to design and then draw it. So in some colleges uh, they provide sheets and in some colleges they may not provide sheet. So if you didn't get the sheet it is good for you you make all the drawings on the answer sheet only using your pen so due to uh, lack of the okay uh, so on the answer sheet you will do it by pen so it is good for you but if you get sheets from the college then it is a little bit uh, hard work for you because you have to draw the drawings using scale pencil and proper dimensions so and measurements too so it will increase your work but uh, it is necessary because there is no option for drawing in this subject at every question you have to draw so and uh, in case if you think that uh, you uh, calculated values only and you didn't draw the uh, whatever you are asked to design then there may be uh, you chances that you will lose marks because of drawing and you will lose marks of numerical too because we can't guess the uh, mind of examiner so it is better that uh, if you have bad drawings still you draw the drawings it is good for you if, if you didn't get the marks of drawings then also you will get full marks of numerical whatever you have designed so i suggest drawing is compulsory and you should draw so first question uh, after drawing and the whole sum solving, uh, we we should expect that we will get 20 to 25 marks because uh, we can't expect full marks for drawing. So whatever we get in the numericals, it is 20 to 22 marks, and uh, for drawing we can expect 5 to 4 or 6, 7, max to max 10 marks. But uh, the whole 32 marks you will never get. So maybe uh, we can't expect that uh, you will always uh, be good at drawing. So we can expect 20 to 20 to 25 marks in the first question. Here uh, we can see there is an option for the first question. Trusses. So this question also carries 32 marks because it is an option for first question. These both are the first uh, option for first question. So uh, if you go for beams you have to neglect trusses but if you go for trusses you have to neglect things so here you have to do any one of these topics so in this trusses uh, four questions are asked uh, prat, uh, design prat type trusses uh, design principal rafter design wind load and design of purling but uh, here i would like to tell you that uh, this design of purling is uh, very very rarely asked because uh, uh, it has been asked only in the December 2016 and before that it had never asked uh, maybe uh, once or twice it has been asked but uh, the chances are very rare so if you have very very less time then I suggest that don't go for design of Berlin because it has been last in the 
previous exam so there is very very less chance that it will be asked in the uh, coming exam so in the process go for these three topics and if you have time then only go for design of curly here also drawing is included but in the process uh, the drawing part is little bit time consuming here you will see if you get sheet then uh, you have to draw the process properly and uh, you have to show all the loading and build load also so it is your choice if you want to do process or beams both the topics are very very easy the steps are very easy stresses is little bit in the time consuming but it is more easy than beams so it is your choice this was regarding first question and here we can say that we have res reserved our 20 to 25 marks but still we want uh, more uh, marks 10 to 12 marks for passing so let's move on huh. the second uh, we can say it's second topic because the first two topics are option any one of them you have to do so this second important topic is plate girder so in this uh, only one question is asked uh, welded plate design a welded plate girder and this question carries 16 marks so in this there is also second part uh, is asked it may be asked because the chances of asking uh, is very less uh, end stiffeners uh, you will be asked uh, design of design the end stiffeners actually end stiffeners are asked very very rarely so and uh, it has been asked in december 2016 so there is a chance that it may not be asked this time so if you have less time again do only welded plate girder don't go for end stiffness but if you have time then do it for safer side okay and again it carries 16 marks so 30 to 40 percent marks for drawing so we will expect 10 9 to 10 marks for this sum maybe 11 so 9 to 10 marks and for from first question 20 to 24 marks so here we will pass this subject if you go the, do uh, any one of the above two topics and the third uh, third plate girder is compulsory so then you can pass ddss but still you have time after completing these two topics and you want little bit more marks so that uh, make sure that uh, your mistakes will not make you fail so there is next topic which is uh, next to this easy is column bases so in this type uh, there are three different types of uh, numericals may be asked first is slab base uh, slab base is always asked for a bolted connection uh, by in, in this slab base uh, you will have to do bolted connection only but in gazetted base uh, there are two connections two type of connections bolted connection and welded connection so uh, the for some final steps of connections will be changed but rest of the same for gazetted base so in this three different types of sums are asked any uh, no no uh, yeah in in uh, from these three only one sum will be asked for 16 marks and again uh, we can uh, expect 10 to 12 marks so if you do this you will do a great job you will score 40 above marks which means 50% above which will give you pointer more than 6 6 uh, I think 6 or 6.5 let it be whatever okay this was regarding the uh, simple thing uh, just for past but uh, there are more topics in this subject so I will discuss them too because uh, I, I don't know it may help you or not it is your decision so let's go ahead the fifth topic is lacing and batten here you will see uh, here are many types in this numerical this question so in the lacing there are four types in a uh, I mean lacing there are two types bolted connection and welded connection in the bolted connection there are again two types face to face channel back to back channel and build in welded connection same two types face to face channel back to back channel and in pattern uh, there are uh, most commonly back to back connection is uh, channel are asked uh, in which bolted and welded connections can be asked but if they asked uh, face to face connection in pattern so it may create a problem so here it uh, there may be possible for uh, two more types of sums so it is uh, very critical because here number of types are more and only one from these six 
will be asked so i suggest don't go for lessing and button it will consume your time and it will give very less output and next and the last question is connections so in this connection bolted connection and welded connections are included and in the bolted connection there are number of ty different types of numericals and in welded connection also different types of numericals so i don't suggest you that do this because uh, the marks are also undefined for these uh, different types of numericals there may be two or more questions in one 16 mark questions so don't go for it if you want to just pass but if you want to score out of you may go for it so for this subject uh, we are going to use is 800 2007 and steel table and the question papers if you want to download the all the question papers uh, from, from last year and uh, last to last year so you can go to this site uh, www.muquestionpapers.com because uh, stupid seed provides question papers but uh, the latest question paper they don't update uh, on the time they update late so you you should go on this site so that you will get all the question papers which you need so thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe and uh, like this video thank you very much